Hello and welcome to another Lake Turn Automation RPA Solution Overview. In this video, we'll provide an overview of an automation we built for a hospitality client that allowed them to close reporting gaps in their restaurant management system and dramatically improve their sales performance. Our client utilizes the Toast cloud-based restaurant management system to run their multi-location enterprise. As shown here in the G2 grid, Toast is clearly the leader in this space uh, in a pack of 131 different applications. Now while Toast is an overall strong platform, our client was struggling with the system's daily sales and analytics capabilities, specifically around daily sales reporting. The Toast system provides a robust sales summary report that, as Toast indicated, is probably the most utilized report because it uh, allows folks to operate their business from a day-to-day -day perspective. The interesting challenge with this report is it does not provide day-to-day -day comparison capabilities with all of the reporting information that you see provided here. Specifically, our client wanted sales category summary information on a daily basis so they could compare sales category performance on Monday versus Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. So our client reached out to us and we partnered with them to build an automated workflow that extracts the data out of Toast every day, sends that to an, to an Amazon web server bucket, and then that data is transferred over to the client's Snowflake data warehouse. Before I show you the automation in action, let's jump through a quick swim lane that outlines the workflow. The bot first signs into the Toast system, and as you'll see in a moment, the Toast system is protected with a CAPTCHA. Most of the time our bot can get through that, but if it cannot, it sends an email to our support team to intervene. After it signs into Toast, you'll see it move to the sales summary screen, which is that report we reviewed moments ago on the Toast website. It'll select the first restaurant from the dropdown and then enter in yesterday's date. We run this automation automatically every day at 9 a.m. to grab the prior day's sales information. The data is loaded on the page, then exported to Excel and saved on our server. It repeats that same process for the second restaurant, selects it from the dropdown at the top, selects yesterday, and then exports the data to an Excel spreadsheet. The bot will then close the browser, and then the bot will process each of these Excel spreadsheet and create a CSV to load into the data warehouse. Now, as you recall moments ago, there was a lot of different data on the sales summary report. The client only wanted the sales by category fed into their data warehouse. So in this step, the bot works through each of these Excel spreadsheets and only extracts the sales category information into a CSV. The bot then archives all of the files, uses uh, a PowerShell script to move the CSV files over to Amazon Web Services, uh, our client's S3 container there, and then their nightly ETL load will pick up the data and load it into their Snowflake data warehouse for their analytical uh, capabilities. The last piece of the workflow, the bot then updates our extract dashboard, which allows both our support team and our client to keep a pulse on the health of the automation. Once that final step is done, the bot exits and waits to run tomorrow at 9 a.m. via our automation orchestrator. So now that you have a better feel for the pain points, use case, and automation overview, let's watch the bot run. So the first thing we'll do is manually start the bot from the desktop. It's going to access the Toast POS website and then log in. Uh, along the login journey, it will solve the CAPTCHA puzzle and click the checkbox and then log in. Once logged into the system, it will make sure it is on the first restaurant where we want to pull the report. It will select the day as yesterday, since we're pulling yesterday's data. It will then update the report and download it to an Excel file and save that to the server. Once it has saved the first restaurant's sales category report to the server, it will then proceed to the next restaurant at the top drop-down. And again, select yesterday and then update the sales summary report and we'll download the Excel 
output from that report to the server as well. Once it has completed downloading the second report, it will log off the system and extract the data from the report, as we talked about a little bit earlier, and send that data to their server, the Amazon Web Server via PowerShell, which you'll see here in a moment. And then the bot signs off completely, and we're done. That concludes our Toast Daily Reporting Overview. As you can see, it was quite rapid. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or would like to discuss any automation challenges facing your organization. Otherwise, may your days be bright and your process burdens light.